Welcome back to another Premiere Pro CS4 tutorial. I'm David Basulto. Today we're going to take a look at capturing footage from your uh, camera that runs with a tape, DV tape or any other tape. So first what we're going to do is click on File, Capture. You can also use the shortcut F5 to get this capture window up. And unfortunately on this, uh, my Mac right now, I don't have my camera hooked up, but I think you'll understand what we're doing. So this little uh, dialog will come up first, capture settings. It's going to ask you uh, what capture format. I'm on a Mac Pro, so I'm going to capture in QuickTime. Uh, you can also use HDV. I don't know why I would want to, but uh, QuickTime is what I'm going to choose. Uh, you have other options here, of course. Um, to look at, but just leave them all default. Choose QuickTime if you're on a Mac Pro. I believe on the PC side it's uh, AVI files. I'm pretty sure. And we're going to click OK. And so once you're in here, you have options here. This is your screen that you can preview your camera that's running your footage. Um, Premiere Pro has a complete list of controls down here just as you had on your camera. So if your camera was online, it would say device, capture device online instead of offline. And you would actually be able to stop, play, rewind, do all of that here, which is uh, really handy. So here you have your two, your logging window and your settings window. Let's take a look at the logging window. Uh, you have an option to capture audio or video or both. Um, Pretty much you will want to do both. And then you're going to log clips to wherever you have this uh, project to. And you could have set that up in the very beginning. Uh, now we're going to call uh, the clip data. So you're going write, to write something in here like, um, let's say, golf. Uh, and we're going to call this golf tape one, for example. Maybe you shot a bunch of golfing clips. And here you're going to want to say um, uh, putting and uh, clip 01. As long as you put a numerical uh, a number in here, the next clip that you have will go to 2 and 3 and 4 and all that. You, this is where the metadata is really cool in Premiere Pro. You can write your description, your scene number, your shot or take, your log note. This is a great putt. Uh, I want to have this in my, um, in my video. And then you're all set. Now down here you have an option to use in and out points uh, and log the clip. So for example, uh, you wanted to set, uh, uh, I'm not sure if it'll work, oh yeah it'll work. Okay so let's say we're starting here, it's an in point and that's the out point and we want to log the clip. So here it's going to let us new, uh, choose an offline file and we're going to click OK. And right here is our putting clip. And it's going to let us, next time we attach this, uh, our deck to Premiere Pro, our, ca our camera, it's going, and we're going to capture, batch capture, it's going to start capturing our uh, log clips that we have here. So it's really handy to have that. You can have all these things logged down here. See right here it says putting clip 2. So like I said, so now this you write some more information here, and you change you know where everything is, and you log a clip again, and click OK. So as long as this tape comes in here, it's going to read the time codes there. So let's say your um, DP or whoever gave you your camera operator gave you a list of time codes. All you you don't even need the tape yet. You just need that list to. Uh, write down all the time codes in and out points, log the clips according to whatever name you want or whatever you're following, and once you get the tape, you hook this up and it will start running and capturing all your tapes. So that's really handy. The other option down here is the capture uh, in and out points. So let's say your camera starts and stops. Um, it will scene detect, which is down here. It'll scene detect and uh, go from A to B for one clip and then B to C, or I'm sorry, yeah, B to C for the second clip, etc. 
So uh, Premiere Pro has the option to, the ability to find in and out points. And the last thing you may want to do, some people might, just want to capture the whole tape. And all you do is press tape and it will start capturing. Now handles, I usually set it at 20 frames. And that means that my video is going to have 20 frames to the start and 20 frames to the end. So I have some room to, uh, to mess around with if I need to. If I, maybe I'm off a little bit or the time codes are off. I've got 20 frames either side uh, that I can use. So, so that's logging, which is really, really handy. Let's take a look at the settings. Now here you have an opportunity to change them if you wanted to. Like I said, we've got QuickTime and HDV and there's more advanced things, but you're pretty much uh, in, in the Mac as far as uh, you're going to want to do QuickTime. Uh, video capture locations, maybe you've changed your mind and you want to change it to another area, so you can do that. Uh, same with the audio, but usually you keep them same as project, which is what you set up in the beginning of the project. Device control, uh, none, or you have HDV. And then you have some options here. So in the options area, it's pretty handy. You can choose NTSC or PAL. If you're from North America, um, you're going to want to choose NTSC. If you're European, uh, you're going to want to choose just PAL. Uh, it lets you pick which device you have. So if you know exactly which camera you have, you can uh, choose from all of these or just keep it generic. It'll pretty much, uh, if you just kept it generic and standard, it's still going to work fine. Uh, but like I said, like let's say you have a Canon, it's got a list of Canons here that you can choose from. Uh, auto detect, or if you want to do drop frame or non-drop frame, you have an option for that. Auto detect, I usually keep it like that, it does uh, fine. Check status, it'll say online or offline. And then you want to go online for device info, so if you wanted to actually go on the internet, it'll let you know whatever uh, third-party hardware. I apologize for my slow. Uh, it'll let you know, uh, you know, you have CS4 and you're trying to find out which camera uh, in an NTSC. And uh, Adobe lets you know um, what you have here, what you can, what kind of support it has. So that's really, really handy as well. And that's cancel out of that. And uh, so that's it for this uh, quick tutorial. Just wanted to show you how to um, capture. Now we have down here uh, current device set for pre roll time, two seconds, time code offset, um, abort capture on drop frames. You want to make sure that's unchecked. That's, that's at least what I do because it will go through the motions of capturing, waste your time, and if you have one drop frame, which might happen, uh, it will just abort the whole thing. So I would not recommend having that unless that's something you, of your workflow. Um, but that's it. That was a quick look at uh, Premiere Pro CS4, how to capture from tape.